Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac, and today we're going to talk about why a saddle type setup like this is safer than a tree stand is. There's no denying saddles are safer. We're going to cover why. Now, I'm not a saddle hunter. I prefer a tree stand. That's my preference. But um, I borrowed John. This is John from Tactic Saddles. This is brand new uh, Nomad harness. This is his own personal harness and or uh, saddle. And uh, like I said, I don't know a lot about saddles. I'm not a saddle hunter. Uh, I do have. I'm going to be doing a demonstration of this saddle for you so you guys can see it because I have a lot of reach and um, I don't mind promoting it for John so I will be doing one here shortly as soon as he explains how all this stuff on here works for me uh, a little better and gives me some of these highlights and details on how certain things are and what does what and we'll cover all that when I get that information from him but this is his personal saddle that I asked to borrow for the purpose of this video for me to make it. Uh, a lot of you guys go back and forth, saddle or tree stand, saddle, tree stand, what's better? Like I said, I prefer a stand, but there is no denying a saddle is safer and we're gonna explain why. So I can use this harness or his saddle as a actual tree stand harness technically and uh, everything so I can show you both while wearing this. I have my Lyman belt, which I'll put a link at the end. It teaches you how to make this, the best Lyman belt ever made. Uh, I promise you that, but uh, so we put this on like we would anything else. Now I want to show you the difference here on what makes a saddle so much safer. See with this tree stand setup, our climbing system with sticks or whatever you're using or some guys are one roping and two roping and three sticking and one sticking and doing all this weird crap and more power to them. I'm an efficiency freak. I like my setup like this. I can run three sticks in a stand and I can be up the tree in no time. Would I be faster with a saddle? Yes, I would be faster with a saddle. There's no doubt because of the fact that it eliminates this part of the whole equation. That's also part of where the safety factor comes in. Most of the dangers that are going to happen on a tree stand, okay, something like 90% of falls that happen on a tree stand happen getting into and out of the stand or hanging the stand. Okay, those are where the danger factors are. Hanging the stand in the tree or transitioning from the sticks to the stand and vice versa. So when we're doing that, we're always wearing our Lyman belt. So again, for purposes of not having to move the camera, we would have our Lyman belt on, which you would with a saddle or with a harness. So that has not changed. We climb, we are wearing and safely connected so that we can hang our stuff. Two points of contact here, hands free, you're standing on your sticks. That's all normal, I've got a lot of videos on that. So that doesn't change anything. The difference is what happens when you have your last stick hung when you're using a stand or you're using a saddle. This is where everything changes. When we got to put up a stand from this point, so we're on our sticks and we're there and we're standing up there and we go and we take the stand off of our backs and we hang it, we're okay, we're still good, we're connected, we're fine in here too, there's less chance of anything going wrong because we're on there. But it is this motion of pulling the stand off of your back grabbing that stand, swinging it around a tree, trying to stay there, you know, working with it, not falling, okay, it's just not horrible, like I said, it's my preferred method, but you got to go through all this motions, get it on, lean around, pull the buckles, set the stand, cam the stand over, get the stand set, you're doing all that at height while you're up there, where with a saddle you don't have to do any of that, okay. Now then there also becomes a transition in. So now technically at this position I would take my tether on mine, it's connected here and I would connect it above. We don't have that tether on us here right now so what we're going to do is pretend I'm wearing a lineman belt still. Okay, so I would take my tether, we're going to use this lineman belt as a tether. Same concept applies, but so we would take this, we would be on our stick with our lineman belt on still. You can still see me, we're good. So this would be put on the tree connect it around, hang on here, and you would be safely set. This is not how you do it. You do not connect to a carabiner side loaded, but again, understand I'm using this as a, as a safety line. And then we got a bridge, which is a little different than mine, but so technically we would be connected, all right? So we would be up here, we would be set, we would be connected to the tree, all would be happy. So we're safely connected in. And then we would transition to that stand like this. You come in, you lean over, you stomp, make sure it's set, you get into that stand. This transition right here from stick to stand 
that we would be doing right here is a very dangerous spot. If that stand is not set good, it could wobble out on you. It could swing out sideways, could kick. If you didn't have it set here, it could go down. If you're trying to do that cam lock stuff where you're tipping and rocking and setting, there's a lot of scenarios where a tree stand can be a problem. Now, however, if you're doing that, you would still be safely connected here to your tree with your safety line, like I'm showing here. So your, your risk of fall to the ground, there isn't any, you know, you are safely connected, but there is risk of falling, you know, getting hung up, the stand kicking out on you, something going wrong, something coming down. There's all this mechanical factor and all these things that can happen and a transi transition from a stick to a platform that has to happen in there. Hanging it, removing it, all of this stuff that requires hands to be functional rather than on a tree. That is a place where, like I said, about 90% of accidents happen somehow involving tree stand incidents. Very rarely is somebody sitting or standing on a platform and they fall out of it. Almost non-existent that that happens, okay? Unless they fall asleep or something stupid like that. But for the most part, None of that stuff happens. The danger is the transition from the sticks to the stand and while hanging the stand, okay? We do that as safely as possible by using tether lines, by using Lyman belts. We do all that stuff right. Now, the difference being if we are in a saddle, oh, this Lyman belt won't say I should have. I don't have a tether here that I can hook up up there. Like I said, we are in the middle of transitioning. I have all of my stuff already down in Georgia. I don't have, I don't even have a regular harness here other than my rock harness. I'm just kind of in a, in a tough spot right here to have some of the stuff to show you. Um, I saved one stand here to get me through October and uh, that's this stand and a set of sticks. So I'm kind of limited on some of the stuff that I got here to make that, make some of this simple to do. But with this uh, saddle, so we climb up the same scenario. You have your alignment belt on, you climb a tree, you get adjusted, you're working up your sticks and you're going right up the tree, blah, 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 like you would. When I get to the spot here, like this, where I just hung my last stick, and let's say I wanna hunt here, okay, this is where I wanna hunt at, I don't have to hang a stand. I don't have to pull one off my back swing it around a tree, grab it, hook it, lock it, which again, as you can see, I got plenty of movement. I can do all that. So it's not a big deal, but it is where more accidents happen is that hanging the stand and transitioning the stand. With a saddle, I don't have to transition from steps into a stand. I'm basically at hunting height. Now, normally we'd be up one higher. Maybe I put a roll of steps, uh, sticks on there or whatever the case is. Maybe I'm using a platform. If you're using a platform, it's still not much different than a tree stand. So if you're a guy hunting out of a saddle with a platform, there's really no difference. You still gotta hang it, you gotta do everything. But what's nice about the saddle is for the safest factor, you climb up to the top, you hang your roll of sticks on there or steps on there or whatever you're doing, but I'm not leaving this spot. There is no transition to, okay? So while I, let's imagine I still had this Lyman belt on, let's pretend it's there still. But when I get to the spot I want to hunt at, and I'm sitting here, and I'm still connected with my lineman belt, all I do is take my tether, and I set my tether wherever I'm going to put it at. Let's just say it's going to go right here. So I set my tether on the tree, and then the only other thing I got to do is connect my bridge like this. And so now I am saddle hunting. That's all there was to it. There is no getting into sticks and stand, or climbing from sticks to stands. There's no messing with anything. I am now in that position here in my saddle and ready to hunt. And this is how you're gonna be. So you see, you give up that transition. You give up that danger. You give up that hanging factor. Again, if you're using a platform, there's still a lot of that going on, but it's a lot simpler, okay? Um, and it's a lot smaller in size. There's a lot of advantages, but this factor alone of cutting out all that stuff is the reason that saddles are safer. Now, there's more to it than that too. In a tree stand with your harness attached, you have slack in that harness. All right, so in that tether line, it's connected. You have slack in that line so that you can move around a stand and be ready to hunt and do all this stuff. So while you're up there and you have that slack up there, 
If you were to fall out of a stand, very rare, very, very rare. Remember, I said it almost never happens. But if you were to fall, you have that slack in here. It's going to give you a little jolt and a little bounce. Here, you are under tension 100% of the time in a saddle. You are always here in this position like this, under tension and set so that you're, you're here. There is no slack anywhere. Okay, you don't have to worry about that stuff. You can pivot, you can do all your stuff that you do, but you are completely under tension 100% of the time. When you want to get down, all you do is come into the tree, lock your lineman belt, disconnect your tether, okay, and you, ex you go down the tree. That's all there is to it. Same thing, come up, you still got your lineman belt on, you connect your tether to the tree, and you are safe, you are hunting. That's your transition, so saddles, are inherently safer than a tree stand. Um, like I said, preference is all yours which way you want to go. Um, you know, John, he lives in these saddles. He spends every waking second hunting out of these saddles. He loves them. Me personally, I prefer a stand. I'm not going to, I don't want to hunt out of a saddle. But let that safety concern be something for you. Um, I did hear Warren Womack say one time, one of the best hunters in the world ever lived. And he said, as I got older, I transitioned to using a saddle more because it's just so much safer and it takes that risk away from there. There's a lot to be said for that when you think about it. Under tension 100% of the time, so no shock loaded fall. No transitioning from platform or from into a stand from in from steps or sticks going from a stick or step system into your stand. No hanging big bulky stands, no messing with that. So the safety factor is much higher in a saddle. Does that mean that tree stands are not safe? No. Like I said, especially if you do the things that I teach you. If you follow the rules I show you with using a lineman belt, using your tether correctly, setting them upright. I've got a ton of videos on tree stand safety, and they'll keep you safe. And uh, they'll, they'll make you know as, as safe as you can be where you've got no, nothing to worry about. But point being, to answer that question, yes, saddles are safer because of these things we talked about. So thanks for watching. Like I said, there should be, I don't know if you've seen it already, but either before or after there will be a review on this saddle here. This is John's Nomad saddle, he calls it. And uh, there's so much adjustability and weird things going on with this and me not being a saddle guy. I don't know a whole lot about it yet. So he's going to uh, give me some more information. Like I said, this is his personal saddle that he's been using now for the last year. And uh, he's going to give me some info on it so that I can relay that to you and tell you guys about it. Because, like I said, John builds a hell of a saddle. You know, uh, not that I hunt out of them, but like I said, hundreds and hundreds of you guys do, and everybody loves them. So I will be bringing to you, or you may have already seen already, the details on this uh, new saddle from John. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later.